we stopped buying it because it's a shame, but they miss it's certain things. They miss certain <clears throat> traditional Chinese fried rice. Has your onions, your egg, your green onions, uh, sprouts, and that's it. That's your traditional Chinese. For some reason, everybody wants to put in peas and carrots. They leave out the sprouts. They leave out the egg. Mm -hmm. You know, um, a telltale sign is when you get fried rice and it's orange. <laughs> Something's wrong there. Yeah. You know, or yellow. And yeah. It's like, what is this? So I said, you know what? You know, and then. When we went to, uh, I remember we went to Papa's, and I ordered the fried rice you mentioned. It gets called Fast Eddie's, mm -hmm. and she'll tell you every time we go, that's all they order. So we're gonna have to try the fried rice here <laughs> because it's really it's good. very hard to find yeah. good Asian food. All this, yeah. I mean, this, you know, it's very hard to find good. And, and I said we don't share our dumplings. I'm not kidding. No, no. no. That's the soup dumpling, guys. We uh, garnished the uh, chicken with uh, microgreen. And then um, we garnish the pork with my favorite. I should have ordered the pork. We do crispy fried scallions. Bring in fresh scallions, we chop them, and we deep fry them. Mm -hmm. And um, anything that I'll have pork will have the scallions on it. I mean, the, the good thing here is, like I said, if, if you know good, you know good. Once you have this, you're going to know what good is, you know? Yeah. So it's going to it's gonna damage you, but you're going to love it, and you'll be back because <laughs> this is delicious. Amen. You know? Really, it's quality. It really is delicious. Yep. The flavors just absolutely captivate every single taste bud. I'm mean, going to say, hi, I'm here. It's fun, too, because um, being next to the brewery really kind of brought a little bit more craft. You know, they're brewing craft beer next door. Mm -hmm. And it kind of helped us develop our brand because it's not just Orthodox Asian food. I mean, because of the brewery, we got into our smash sando. Let's have something that's more handheld. Right. So, you know, everybody that's having a beer wants a burger. Right. But we're not going to do a burger. We're going to order Wagyu meat. We're going to press it on a grill and make a smash burger right. that's pressed over caramelized shallots. Oh and then we're not going to do a burger bun. We're going to do a Japanese white brioche bread and toast it. I don't even want to eat a burger bun anymore. I love this toast. It's right. not quite as thick as Texas toast, but it's there. We brought in tater tots that you can have the kids love them again another kind of brewery item that's helping develop our brand right we top them with our pulled pork and our pulled pork we don't bring in the shoulder we're doing the pork belly wow. so we pull the pork belly oh my goodness yeah it's pretty amazing it's got the pulled pork it's got the crispy scallions that's the, the loaded, ranch. loaded tots the loaded that's the, what the we're Korean loaded tots yeah. um more new fun stuff coming up because a lot of vegetarians are coming here taking pictures and sharing it on their chats that, hey, yes. we found a good spot that has some gluten-free and vegetarian items. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a Chinatown street corn. Okay. We're going to mess around with the baby corn, okay. kind of Mexican style with the Gujita cheese and the different sauces. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to do the shishito peppers that we've been experimenting with, with the Gujita cheese. It's a home run. Okay. We do Brussels sprouts already. And last time we were Brussels here, sprouts. we had the, uh, a mushroom. The mushrooms. They're fantastic. Something with the mushroom, I think it was a taco. Or... Um, anything you Mongolian, can substitute with the mushroom or tofu. Right, we did something. So with this Mongolian bao here, you can get that Mongolian tofu, or you can get it Mongolian mushrooms. I think we had that with the mushrooms last yeah. time. That was yes. incredible. It's fantastic. Yeah. I'm not yeah. vegan, but I, that, I love mushrooms. I love mushrooms, I especially it. when they're cooked properly. Um, they're they're fantastic. No, and we do have a lot of vegans. So we're getting a lot of vegan followers. And actually, yeah, it's yeah. trending. We're, we're eating healthy. With, and we got eating... a gentleman that's called the Vegan Homeboy. Oh, really? We're actually working with the him. Vegan Homeboy. I'll yes. bring him by. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's there's food for days here. Yeah. Um, I was talking about the noodles. We had that um, cold noodle. Mm -hmm. Right. We do a lo mein that we brought in after opening that you can have Mongolian style or you can have with a crispy chili garlic oil. You can put any proteins on them. We got shrimp, steak chicken, which is the grilled chicken. We use tenderloins for all our chicken. Unless you're gonna do a grill, we use thigh meat. I love thigh meat. Right. It's um, to that's, me, the most flavor. That's